Hello and welcome to Len's Kitchen. Uh, today I'll be showing you how quickly make um, healthy and delicious lunch. Um, I've got some pasta, uh, which I've got from from day before. I just cooked too much. Uh, so I'm gonna put this pasta in my salad bowl. And that's the base of the salad. It's gonna be uh, pasta and tuna salad. Just quite good combination, really. Right, so we've got our pasta here. And tuna. Tuna flakes, uh, tuna chunks from the, from the tin. Maybe some for my dog, Minnie. Right. Uh, don't worry about mixing yet, uh, we're just going to uh, give it mix after. So that's the base. Uh, next, next ingredient, red onion. Just chop it um, whatever way you like, really. Not, I, I just don't, for cooking, um, I don't chop onion thinly because uh, I like big chunks of it in cooked food, but if it's raw, I tend to chop it thinly. So in it goes. There we go. So it gives us a bit more colour. It's quick fix. I mean, I wouldn't probably boil uh, pasta, especially just for salad, unless I'm making salad for uh, for guests and they come over. Then, then yes. But just as a quick lunch, I usually use my leftovers. Uh, cucumber next. That's going to give us the freshness to the salad. Skin on. I wouldn't bother about taking it, it just gives gives you better colour and uh, very often all the goodness from veg is in the skin, or most of it anyway. There we go, one chunk on the floor, that will be for my dog, she loves cucumbers, so she'll be really happy about it. So as you can see, it's looking, looking really nice and colourful now. And I just add a little bit of iceberg lettuce as well. Sort of for this size bowl and amount of pasta I had, I would say chunk like this. And just roughly, roughly chop it. And in it goes. There we go. Some uh, Himalayan pink salt, rock salt. Pepper, I've got uh, uh, four season pepper, it's called, it's just three, uh, four different uh, peppers, white, green, red and black. Tuna likes pepper, so don't worry about adding too much, it just gives, it's just going to give it a nice taste. And then uh, for dressing. I will just use mayo. Do not uh, do not use light or extra light uh, fat-free mayo. That's uh, that's about big tablespoon. Because what it is with light mayo, you hasn't got taste, hasn't got any goodness in it, and you have to add probably four times as much because it just disappears in salad. So it really works out probably the same on the salad. Uh, in in a salad, so 
I, I wouldn't bother. And they, uh, if something hasn't got fat, means fat's been taken away, you, they have to compensate with something. So they usually use all sorts of thickness and uh, colours, stuff which is not good and our bodies don't need it really. So one big tablespoon, but it's, it's, it's plenty for salad like this. And um, the best thing is to use your own mayo. And if you, I can show you how to make mayo. You can comment, comment down below if uh, if you want me to show how to make mayo on one of my videos, and I'll do that shortly. So, just one thing. So that's how the salad looks like. As you can tell, just hold on to them spoons. So it's nice and colorful and fresh and tasty and filling because it's pasta one more thing actually before I go it's uh, pumpkin seeds you can add as well a another thing which is really good for you really good for seeds seeds uh, are really really good for you and I, I tend to add pumpkin seeds to my salads so there it is, pasta tuna salad, quick and easy fix. Um, hope you like my videos, uh, give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like them so I can, uh, so I can, so I know what, uh, what videos make, uh, comment uh, if you want me to, to cook something, um, uh, especially that you, something you, you like and you don't know how to cook. So thank you, thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!